क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट वन कंपोनेंट सिस्टम वन कंपोनेंट सिस्टम आर दो सिस्टम विच विल हैव जस्ट वन एलिमेंट प्रेजेंट इन इट और वन कंपाउंड प्रेजेंट इन इट हेंस द नेम वन कंपोनेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ सिस्टम फॉर वाटर वाटर इज जस्ट वन कंपोनेंट वेन इट फॉर्म्स आइस द कंपोजिशन इज वाटर वेन इट फॉर्म्स वाटर वेपर और स्टीम द कंपोजिशन इज ऑल्सो वाटर वील स्टडी अबाउट सच सिस्टम्स इन दिस सेशन For one component system or systems consisting only of one component, for example, water, the phase diagram can be represented by two axes, the temperature and the pressure axis. We can keep one axis for temperature and another axis for pressure. For example, if we keep the x-axis or the horizontal axis for temperature, then the y-axis, the vertical axis, will be for pressure, and it will be temperature versus pressure axis. If something changes in the temperature, the state might change over here if something changes in the pressure then again the state might change over here what do we mean by change of state we mean the change of equilibrium over here the equilibrium point changes the point at which the entire system is at equilibrium may change with change in temperature or with change in pressure over here i'm using the word or you can either change the temperature or you can change the pressure and then that will have an effect on the equilibrium thus it is known as a one component system this one component system has many phases it has three phases the solid state the liquid state and the gaseous state water undergoes three phases the solid state known as the freezing the liquid known as the melting and the gaseous state known as the vaporization there is a point which is known as the triple point in it and at this triple point that particular component can attain all three phases at the same time that particular temperature and that particular pressure has been marked on the phase diagram and that is known as the triple point of that one component system this triple point of the system is known as a zero variant point what do we mean by zero variant point neither the temperature nor the pressure nor the concentration nothing should be changed at this point if something changes slightly then the entire triple point will be lost the system will not stay in all the three points or all the three phases together and that is the reason why that particular point is known as a zero variant point of the system so we are in today's session we studied about the one component system we studied what exactly is one component system the temperature and the pressure how can temperature and pressure affect the equilibrium points of the one component system we also studied another important thing that is the triple point and how triple point is zero variant and nothing can affect it thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to ekeda and subscribe to ekeda